Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another video from me, this Garander. And today we're gonna talk a bit about a new tier that uh, I'm trying to, you know, get a hold on and it's based on the black and white system before the Oras or Generation 6 really came out. So it's based on the Pokemon, of course, that were in a different tier before and uh, basically this is my way of saying that this is Pokemon that I really want to see be used and uh, I'm gonna try this tier system on my stream and uh, basically we're gonna go a bit on which Pokemon is gonna drop uh, are you and in you of course it's the way we play the most and basically what I did was some calcs and you know whether or not they would have been broken-ish if they were to be moved down so uh, without further ado we're gonna introduce of course the RU of the VB system and the first one to enter RU is actually Blastoise Blastoise is uh, without its mega form it's not that well potent so him coming down to RU is a good thing like I said basic form not the megas and I will think can do some work and the second one coming in is Aerodactyl. Now, Aerodactyl is a Pokemon that uh, it's fairly good actually. I like it. I like it a lot. And without this Mega Form, it is really not that fast and not that hard hitting. So, him moving down to RU seems like a good way without the Mega Form. One other guy that actually is not that good without this Mega Form is Manetric. Now, Manetric is a good Pokemon and it was in RU previous gen. And it might as well have dropped an NU, but I still think that, you know, it has good coverage enough to hold its own in RU, so we're gonna stay with him there. And the last one is Sharpedo, which before the Mega Form in Generation 6 was an RU Pokemon, and I think it's only fair to treat him as such. So, that is the RU. Uh, now, not the biggest changes, of course, Manetric, Blastoise, and Aerodactyl are the biggest changes, but an NU is where shit goes down, so without further ado, let's go into the NU tier. So yeah, the first to mention is Beedrill. Now, Beedrill got, you know, your Juju buff, and um, without the Mega Form, it really isn't that great, and we're going to treat that as such, therefore he's gonna be an NU. And followed by that is, of course, the same guy that also got a Mega Form, which was Mega Pidgeot. Now, Pidgeot on his own, not that powerful, so he's definitely going down to NU, and uh, I'm looking forward to see this guy in action. I'll, like I said, I did miss him, and uh, I'll be very glad to see this guy. But one of the biggest changes is definitely going to be Ampharos. Ampharos was in NU in black and white, and uh, on its own, it really isn't that great, so... Or it is good, I like it, but not that good that it should be higher. Uh, so Ampharos is definitely going to enter the frames, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this in action in NU. And followed by that is another Pokemon which Mega Form moved it up one tier, and that is going to be the Steelix. Now of course I'm very glad of that, this because I get to use Steelix. I like Steelix, I think it's great, and yeah, it's not that good in RU. It holds up, but uh, not enough obviously, and uh, it's going to be great to see him in the NU. And followed by that is another Pokemon that got the real moved up, and this is Sceptile. Scepter is actually really good, you know, I can't deny the fact um, I was debating whether or not I should put it in RU or not, but it comes down to its typing and what it, you know, brings to the meta, and uh, it's not a whole lot by typing alone, so that's why it definitely should be in NU, together with Mega Camerot, which of course, Camerot on its own, is, um, well, he barely made, the Mega Camerot ba barely made a cut to um, BL, so Camerot should definitely be lowered, and therefore he's here. Uh, together with him is gonna be joined by a Pokemon that I think a lot of people has been missing in NU and that is gonna be Altaria. Uh, Altaria is actually fairly good, I won't deny that fact, but uh, the Mega Form is just so much better. Uh, Altaria alone definitely should still be in NU, so we're going to treat him as such. And uh, joining him is actually gonna be a Pokemon that I will be looking forward for and that is Banet. Never seen this guy perform, and it's definitely is NU material without this mega form, and that is gonna be awesome seeing you guys using that. And um, another Pokemon is definitely was an NU material, uh, which the mega form changes a lot. Was Absol, so Absol is definitely a new Pokemon here, and this is also a Pokemon I really would like to see how it performs. Absol is one of those Pokemon that just are super strong. It got some versatility on it but it doesn't really have the defenses to keep it going so uh, definitely NU 
and so is Glalie. Now Glalie for me is a Pokemon, or Mega Glalie is a Pokemon for me that I really didn't think it would reach or you. I thought it was bad, but obviously people found a way to use it and good because it has been working and that's why it is in its position today. And that also goes for the Lupani. Lupani is one of those Pokemons that um, on its own it's not that good. And it's hardly a bad thing, uh, it really isn't, but uh, Lupani on its own should definitely be treated as an NU Pokemon. And uh, therefore, it is there. Scrappy did a lot for that Pokemon, really did. Same goes for Abomasnow. Now, Abomasnow was an RU in black and white, but with, you know, more fire Pokemon and more versatility, uh, Abomasnow is not doing that well, so using him in uh, NU seems really fine. But the biggest change, and the change I think you guys will love a lot, Charizard is definitely an NU Pokemon without its mega form, and therefore it should be there. Uh, definitely looking forward to see you guys using this Pokemon. It's fairly good. The stone's weakness makes it worse, but um, yeah, that's its only issue, and that's why it's an NU. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this VM tiers. Like I said, it's something that... Um, We'll figure it out together uh, on the stream, so definitely gonna try that out. And you know, we're actually gonna see which Pokemon that are a bit too strong for its tier. Charizard might as well make it RU, who knows? Defog might just make that much of a change for it. But um, yeah, we're gonna try it on the stream, like I said. It's not fully planned out. I just run the statistics and you know, seeing which thing can do what and which Pokemon should drop. And I think I have a good system. I think as far as this go, this would make it, but. Um, there are a few, few more changes that has to be made, and you guys are, well, here because of that. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the stream tomorrow, and we'll figure out the stream from there. And, uh, yeah, as always, guys, thank you for watching, and remember, the sky is limit. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.